All right, guys, what's going on? We're over here at decalgirl.com, and I want to design a controller uh, skin for my PS4 controller. I'm just going to sign in here, sign in with my Facebook. Be sure to make an account with this, because if you're making a couple decals, they give you points towards uh, getting discounts. Right now, they're doing 25% off, so that pretty much saves your shipping cost. So let's go down here with device. It's a game console made by Sony. And pick your device. Now you can do so much with these, so just pick any one you want. Uh, you can do the full PS4 console. I'm doing just the controller for now. So you can view the skins or make your own. They have ones that are already made down here. This one kind of looks like a Nintendo remote. With all these designs so it's uh it's cheaper to get these because they're already pre-made but then if you want you can um you know design your own if you don't see one that you like and they have you know 85 pages here you can go through so it gives you a blank canvas now if you want you could just do um certain colors of the background I'm not sure what this is. Adam. Okay, I guess if you want to choose your font, put like my initials. I'd probably just do my name. Have like a little emblem there. You know, just shrink it up enough to pop it on the buttons. <laughs> Uh, I was thinking of going with a, um, a Batman theme, but I don't want to do the black Batman. I like the gray and blue one. I think that would look nice with the controller. Maybe do some of these blue and then gray accents, and then maybe do like yellow as well, kind of like his belt. So we'll see how that goes. So basically, you can upload images here. Some other past uploads I had. Majora's Mask 3DS that I did. This is an older 3DS that I had on there. So basically, you're just going to grab images from the internet or your photo library, upload them on here, and then you can fit them on here. Now the easiest thing to do is also have uh, Photoshop, so you can edit the images in there um, this way. You could have them fit the, the contours better and all that jazz, so we'll see how it goes. So we're going to grab some images just from Google, um, Batman belt, see what comes up. yellow belt kind of something similar to that okay. Oops, that's not how you spell gray. <laughs> essentially yeah these are the colors I'm kind of going with here the gray this looks good right here we could actually pull this image and I can get the exact colors from just the image here so I head over to Photoshop Change the DPI to 300 so it's better. Paste that guy in. And then what I also like to do is kind of get a rough estimate. I'll get a capture of the pieces here. And then I can use that in Photoshop. Let's open that up. Not a bing. Alright, so we want to go with this gray. Let's see, we can just use the bucket. Boom. Works out pretty good. Could probably just use the bucket. I don't think I have to select that, so we can just. Oh, that looks weird. I checkerboarded it. Alright, next that, we'll just select it all. or not. Paintbrush. There we go. I want that checker pad. Right D pad. Now 
Now what we can do to save time if we want to mimic that, you can right click, copy layer style, come down here and then just paste the layer style. It's just like that. This also has to be colored in. This is the bleed line, but the sticker essentially is just going to be this part. So this will still be black like on the controller, but we still have to stretch it. It's going to want you to stretch it past, past these pink lines for when they print it. It's just called the bleed line. So we're just going to have to make our graphics a little bit bigger to fit in there. And now what we can do when we save it as a PNG is if we save it as a JPEG, this will be white. All this will be white. We save it as a PNG, that will be clear and transparent. PNG, blue circle. Alright. There. And then what we can also do, we have options over here, you shrink it, rotate it, and all that, but you can also uh, duplicate it and over here. Alright guys, so we're back on Decal Girl. Jump over to Photoshop here though. Show you the, um, the designs here. Here's Batman. So we're kind of basing it off this kind of Batman here with the colors. And I went ahead and added like a lot of these shadows, how it's like darker gray and all that with um, with here, doing the granite like I showed you guys, um, and just adjusting them. And um, I had to adjust the file to make it a, a little bit bigger. And you really have to make sure when you're doing it that the, uh, the image size here, that the resolution's at like 300 at least. It's usually always defaulted to 72 and then when you're gonna upload the image to uh, decal girl it's gonna be a poor resolution and you'll see that too if you try to upload there'll be a little um, orange uh, warning thing here saying hey you got low resolution files you gotta upload better ones so let me show kind of how it works here let me delete some of the stuff here that was just the base color there you can just keep it white or whatever so you got the Batman logo there so you go to images and here's all the files here. So I got the Batman logo. So I want to use this guy. Now see, it doesn't fit perfectly. So you kind of got to stretch it and play with it to get it to fit. That's why you can see how I made the shape kind of over exaggerate it with the colors and stuff. So it fills in the area over here. So yeah, you can just blow it up and just set it. And then also to see how it covered the Batman and all that there. You have to come down at the bottom right here, move layer below. This is saying you want this to be the bottom layer. And now all those will show through. So that's how you fix that. That looks about right. There's a little bit missing right here. So you can just tap it over a little bit. Not too bad. And then you can hit your preview button here and it'll show you what your controller will look like. Pretty sweet. Yep, not too bad. It doesn't show the back over here though, where it shows here. I'm gonna put a little Batman thing, and I put that there by adding um, text. You do a text box here, and it just did, you know, Batman. If you wanted to put it, you know, somewhere else, or you can always um, shrink it down. It's got little options over here to to rotate it. If I wanted to put it like down the side here. Set of my custom scan, we could do like Batman theme PS4 controller. And then add it to your shopping cart. And then you're good to go. And like I said, they're doing 25% off orders. You just gotta type in winter blues. Make sure you sign up for an account because every time you order one, they give you points, and then you'll be able to get like a free decal after you put in a couple orders. So hopefully if this is little tutorial was helpful guys at any questions let me know in the comments down below